Hi, Dr. David Weiss here. Today we're doing several injections on somebody who's had significant pain to the front of her feet for a long time and pain has been so bad she's not able to walk with most shoes and she's very busy on her feet and we're trying to keep another person out of the operating room uh, for this problem. Today we're doing four adipose injections into the foot because there are several areas that need to have uh, more cushioning and more fat to help with the uh, keeping pressure off of the foot. If we look at her foot here, there's a lot of pain on the front of the foot when she walks. And we're gonna be putting these injections to the ball of the foot in the area so she can hopefully wear heels again and go back to walking and, and everyday activities, even barefoot walking. Okay, so we're about to give these injections. We're doing four. The area we're going to give an injection is under the ball of the foot, and that is the big toe joint, and more specifically an area called the sesamoids. And this is where there's a lot of pain. The x-ray of this patient actually showed a old fracture of this sesamoid probably from years ago, which is common. We're also gonna be putting it to the ball of the foot up underneath the second toe joint, and that's where the hammer toe is. But when there's a hammer toe, what happens is when the toe goes up, the bone that is before that bone, the second metatarsal goes down. So we're gonna give an injection under the second and under the ball of the foot, under the sesamoid area for both feet. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm in the subcutaneous tissue. I'm going to withdraw the needle just a tad to make sure we're not in a vessel. So we're good, and I'm going to inject. And typically, people don't feel this because there's some Novocaine in there already. So I move in at a fan-like technique so it can move all around that area. And there's one right there. I'll put a little pressure on there. And then we'll do the second one. And we're in the sesamoid area now, within the fat, not in the bone. And I'm gonna inject this in a fan-like technique so we can distribute this all where it needs to be. That's it, one foot down, one to go. All right, we're doing her left foot now, the sesamoids. This is the second metatarsal area. And we'll inject the sesamoid area. I, I'm in the subcutaneous fat. And you can see it bulking up in here. So this is where when people, especially ladies, wear heels, most all the weight is put on the ball of the foot right here. And so the goal of this is so she will be able to be a, wear heels and be able to get back to her previous activity level. And here's the last injection. They say that when heels are over two inches, there's an enormous amount of pressure that's put on this area of the foot and that creates trouble. So I usually tell most women, please don't wear heels above two inches. So we'll see this lady in about two weeks and hopefully she'll be able to walk barefoot without pain and wear nice shoes. Have a good day.